You go ahead and uh, do it. No, I mean uh, Olivia. Olivia. Yeah. Okay, put our palm together. You go ahead and say, "I'm a fundamental teacher." What do I say? Nam mo fundamental teacher, Sakyamuni Buddha, three times. Sakyamuni Buddha. Yeah. Um, Nam mo Sakyamuni Buddha, Nam mo Sakyamuni Buddha, Nam mo Sakyamuni Buddha. Mm -hmm. Okay, and do you know how to do the meditation? Uh, can, you, uh, can you give them one minute of meditation? Uh, yes, we can go to class. Okay. Okay. Uh, Olivia, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, do you have a timer? Yeah. Set okay, set up one minute and uh, give them the, the one minute meditation. Go ahead, I uh, uh, yeah, show them the time you have. Yeah. Um, how long time? One minute. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, everyone, turn on your webcam, go on. Thank you. Okay, when you're ready, go ahead, uh, Olivia. Yeah. Uh, okay, good. You say one, two, three, then we can start it. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Good. Close your eyes, sister, everyone. Uh, it's done. Good, thank you. You go ahead and call them, call their name. Yeah. Um, Caitlin. 22. Uh, okay. Um, Justin. Twenty-four. Uh, okay. Yeah, come sometime. Oh, you, you, you are calling. Okay, that's okay. Um, uh, Anthony, Jennifer. Jennifer, Ashley, Rachel. Thank you. Okay, Nolan. Okay, all right. Ah uh, yes. I could not hear you go. Ethan, can you can you help me to uh, follow the story and summarize at the end? Um, I'll try to. Try to turn on your webcam, bro. Thank you, bro.
Ethan. Uh, you got it, Ethan? Are you ready? Yeah. Once upon a time, the Buddha, one of his former lives, was in hell. Uh, Ethan, you can hear it, right? Uh, yeah, I can. You're a good thought, thank you. Before he became a Buddha, he had suffered a lot in many lives. He made a lot of mistakes, like all of us. He made himself suffer, and he made people around him suffer. Sometimes he made very big mistakes, and that is why in one of his previous lives, he was in hell. The Buddha was in hell because he had done something wrong, extremely wrong, that caused a lot of suffering to himself and to others. That is why he found himself in hell. In that life of his, he had the bottom of suffering. Because that hell was the worst of all hells. With him there was another man. And together, they had to work very hard. Under the direction of a soldier who was in charge of hell. It was dark, it was cold. And at the same time, it was very hot. The guard did not seem to have a heart. It did not seem that he knew anything about suffering. He did not know anything about the feelings of other people. So he just beat up the two men in hell. He was in charge of the two men, and his task was to make them suffer as much as possible. The guard also suffered a lot. It looked like he didn't have any compassion within him. It looked like he didn't have any love in his heart.
the guard saw him protesting like that and heard him, he was very angry. And he used his fork and he planted it right in the chest of the Buddha. As a result, the Buddha died right away. And he was reborn the very same minute into the body of a human being. He escaped hell and he became a human being. Just because compassion was born in him, strong enough for him to have the courage to do it, to help his fellow man in hell. The other fellow saw the Buddha die. He was angry and for the first time he was touched by compassion. The other person must have had some love, some compassion, to have the courage to intervene to be saving. That gave rise to some compassion in him also. That is why he looked at the guard and he said, My friend was right. You don't have a heart. You can only create suffering for yourself and for other people. I don't think that you are a happy person. You have killed him. And after he said that, the guard was also very angry with him, and he used his fork and planted the fork in the stomach of the second man, who also died right away and was reborn as a human being on Earth. Both of them escaped hell and had a chance to be given new on Earth as full human beings. But what happened to the God, the one who had the heart? He felt very lonely. Because in that hell, there were only three people, and now the other two were dead. He began to see that these two were not very kind or very nice. But to have people living with us is a wonderful thing. Now the other people were dead, and he was alone, utterly alone in hell. He could not bear that kind of loneliness, and hell became very difficult for him. The guard in that hell made a vow that if he had to take care of other people in hell, he would learn how to deal with them in a nice way. Transformation took place in his heart. In fact, he did have a heart. That he had no heart is wrong. Everyone has heart. We need something or someone to touch our heart. This form it into a human heart. So this time, the feeling of loneliness, the desire to be with other humans, was born. This is Bandit. He'll find the brands he loves at everyday low prices. At Tractor Supply. In the guard. You see in life. Okay, all right. Hey, then. So basically what happened was in one of Buddha's past lives, um, he had to go to hell because he committed a bad crime that like basically made a lot of people around him suffer. And when he was in that hell, there was him and another person and a guard. And that guard his task was to basically make them suffer as much as possible. But then like one day when the guard was like beating up his friend, so the Buddha decided to step in and like stop. And when he did that, the guard got really angry. And so like he basically killed him. So seeing that the friend saw like basically that the Buddha had some compassion for him and realized like basically like, it was unjust and kind of wrong. So he did the same thing as Buddha. And just as the last time, he was killed. So um, both of them were reborn. And they escaped hell to live on Earth at a second chance at life. Um, the guard stayed in hell. And he was, he was very lonely because, like, those two people were the only, like, people in that hell and he realized that next time, like, he should treat people nicer to deal with them. Mm, so what do you learn from this thing? Um, I learned that, like, basically living a life, like, isn't living a life if you're not living it with others. Hmm. Mm, that's, wow. So um, that's good. Uh, Olivia, what did you learn from this story? Um, I learned 
that we should like not do bad stuff to other people and like make people suffer. When we uh, when we bad to the other, when we do bad thing to the other people, uh, Emmy, Emmy. Yeah. When we do bad thing to the other people, do you think that we feel happy? No. 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 Okay. You see, when we do bad thing right to other people, we make ourselves suffer as well as the other people suffer. Who can give me an example in the family? Uh, let's see. Um, Ethan. Ethan. Ethan, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Okay, thank you. Um, so can you give me the specific example that uh, when we make other people suffer, we also suffer? Um, so for example, like if you're a kid and like you make a big mistake and like this forces like, you know, your parents to take action, but like when they take action, they feel remorse too. And so like, it basically makes them suffer. Mm, for example, can you uh, say something like in, in the family setting? Um, say like you broke a, like a really expensive vase and you didn't tell them about it. So they got really mad and like, they basically took action against you. But while they were doing it, they um, felt remorse for you too. And that made them suffer too. Mm. So, but how do we, uh, how do we avoid if that thing happened, uh, we can avoid that, 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 that kind of, um, suffer for others um to avoid like suffering for others like first of all like you have to avoid suffering for yourself so like you can't inflict harm on the other people around you so let's say that when we uh, accidentally we uh we uh we broke the the we break the the vase right uh the very expensive vase um so uh how do we avoid the further uh, suffering for other people um, instead of lying, I think you should like, you know, just be honest and tell the truth because like lying would probably make the situation only worse. So yeah. telling the truth is always better. Yeah, that's right. When you tell the truth, yes, uh, the parent, they uh, really, uh, maybe they get, uh, they, 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 they feel sad, right? They're very happy that you're honest, right? Because the parents are always happy when they have uh, the honest children. That that the thing they, they do. So yeah, of course, uh, it's already break. What can we do? But at least we honest, and uh, the parents say, okay, next time do do not do that again. So at least we um, we don't make them suffer, and we don't we don't also uh, make ourselves suffer because when we lie, right? Um, uh, let's say Justin. Justin. Yeah. When we lie to other people, don't you think that we feel happy? No. Yeah. Do we think, uh, Kathleen? Do we think that when we lie to the other people, please, Kathleen? What did he say again? Uh, when we lie to the other people, right? Do you think that we can uh, have a, a peaceful uh, a sleep? No, because you're just going to think about like what's going to happen after. Like... Mm -hmm. Because we all were afraid that uh, someone will find out later on, right? That makes us, we, we constantly think about that. That's why it makes us... Uh, even supper, <laughs> you see that. Um, uh, back home, back home. Yeah. So, so uh, at home, how do we uh, can avoid uh, the the parents suffer when we do bad things? For example, when we uh, when we do we don't do homework, right? But uh, we should we always do homework? 
What happens if you don't do homework? Who will suffer the most? Um, the kid. Yeah, because you will get the best, right? And the parent will also suffer too, right? Mm. Uh, Olivia. Yeah, Ty. So when we don't do homework, right? Yeah. Uh, then uh, who will suffer the most? Um, we will. We are, and also who will suffer too? Mm. Um, maybe our parents. Yeah, but why do we work? Why do we, well, what do you think that uh, if we don't do homework and uh, we don't do good in school, why do we? Olivia? Yeah. Why do we suffer when we don't do good in school? Um, because then we like, can't get a good job and be successful. Yeah, that's right. That's why if we don't do good in school, yeah, we will not have a future. We will not have a good uh, education. We don't, will not have a good job. And maybe we will work in for work for, for, for McDonald's, right, Anthony? Anthony, uh, Dragon. Does that make sense? Yeah. If we don't, uh, if we don't do good in school, we will work for McDonald's, right? Yeah. Is that a good thing to work for the McDonald's? Dragon. Uh -huh. Okay, good. All right, so let me show you another movie. Oh, one thing I want to um to uh in this story, uh, actually <clears throat> the Buddha when they uh, uh even though the bad people right, they sometimes they do have a heart right, so they do have a compassion. So, but um, it, it depends on uh that uh, we should have compassion for 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 those and we have to be very patient they can be able to um to um to uh to uh to, to be trans to be transformed um and uh due to that the reason is the buddha uh, past life when he have a compassion for his friend and uh and after he be born into the human due to that he know how to practice the compassion Therefore, he become Buddha due to the compassion, uh, uh, initial compassion that give him the mo motivation to um, to practice and become Buddha. Does that make sense to you, uh, Olivia? Okay, good, good. All right. All right. You cannot live on your own. Man is not your enemy. You cannot hate man. You cannot kill man. You cannot reduce man to nothingness. Because if you kill man, who will you live? Don't live on your own. Share your life, your feelings with other humans. Be kind. This is all there is to a beautiful life. Okay, so you. Mm. All right, I will let you watch this one. This is a good one. Olivia, you can pay attention to this. And who are you? I'm Les Times, my wife Nina, and these are pigs and hogs and our family. We live in Mayaca City, Florida. Florida! Woo! All right. There's one to be loose. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my Ready? Yeah. Folks, the fourth chapter view. <laughs> no.
Thanks for watching. Click below to subscribe. All right, that's good. Olivia, what do you think? Um, I think that it was cool how the pigs did the tricks and stuff. You see, they uh, they also have a very talent, right? Just like uh, yeah. Captain. Uh, so uh, the animal also have the talent like us, right? So and also remember, do you think the animal want to live, right? Just like us, right? Yes. So that try not to kill them, <laughs> try not to eat them, right? Mm. Um. So uh, this is important. So. Uh, um the animal we uh they do have the 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 characteristic, the characteristic that, that like uh, us if they be able to uh, be training and they will be able to become uh very talent right so the same with us if we study and we work hard we will become very intelligent right actually Ashley, Catherine, Catherine. Yes. So uh, you see that the, the animal, like pig, right? Not only pig, dog, they also um, have some care. Uh, they can be able, be able to learn, right? And they be, can be, be, be able to uh, become a better talent if they have been training, right? Yeah, but it was freezing up a lot, and I didn't really see much of it. Huh? I could not hear you. I didn't see much because it was freezing up and lagging a lot. Oh, you don't have a good connection. Okay, okay. I see. All right. All right. So remember, we always respect. Uh, not only human, as well as we respect uh, the, the animal life, right? So uh, try not to, uh, to be more vegetarian, okay? I will thank you, bro. Um, okay.
Really? How many? How how many? Okay, hold on, hold on. Ah, go go yo. Uh, just give me one second. Uh, we uh, we do have a technical problem. Okay, I will let you watch the video. Maybe uh, give us five more minutes. Okay. okay. Just give me one second. Uh, we have an internet problem here. Hmm. We uh, we have a uh, the next problem. Just give me one. Second. Okay, let me. Uh, okay, in the meantime, we are waiting for them to uh, break our room. I will let you watch one more video. Okay, just give me one second. Ah, uh, well, something um, unexpected. Mm. Um, let's see. Um, so, uh, Olivia, can you uh, help me to read the subtitle or whatever? Yeah, Ty. Okay, go on. Yeah. You've got five out of ten. You've got nine out of ten. Ty, do you know we already watched Mom this? doesn't love me. Mom. Mom never has time for me. Can I borrow your lighter? I never had a birthday cake like other children. Sam Pop, your mom is here. Sam Pop, what are you doing? Why don't you do your homework instead of hanging out here? Did you spend the money I gave you every day on playing games? Mom, I didn't. Don't you say anything. She has never listened to me. Don't you care for me? 
Listen to me. To her, I am just a bad boy. No, it's only a computer. You can do installment payment. We already have a lot of expenses. I can't afford a computer. If you, I will never, it, well, you have never bought me anything anyway. I'm not buying. You never know what I do. You only care for yourself, so you'd better live all by yourself. This is taking too long, man. This is my computer. Give me a second. I will finish it in no time. Here you go. Thank you. Hello. Yes. Yes. Medical test is a coronary heart disease. For accommodations for insurance. Computer. We already have expenses. I can't afford a computer. You only care for yourself. If you don't give me, then I don't care. A bowl of noodle, please. And if relationship. It was me who cared only for myself. It was mom who had given me everything. Even on the last day in her life. Get back to your loved one while your heart is still beating. What, uh, Olivia? Yeah. Go ahead and summarize. Um. Yeah, so there is this boy, um, and he 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 told his mother to buy him a computer, but she couldn't afford it. And then he got mad, and then he um moved out of the house. Um, and then one day he gets a call that his mother died, and then. He found this thing, the documents, the accommodations, and um, then he realized like how much his mom had sacrificed for him, um, and that he was selfish towards her, and she was, and he was the one who cared only for himself. What did we learn from this story? Um, to give back to your, your loved ones while your heart is still beating. That's what it said. I know, but uh, did uh, his mom buy him the computer? Um, no. But uh, but at the end, right? She she did she did save the money for the computer, right? Yeah. That uh, but it, so sometimes the mom it uh, the uh, she uh, she very poor right the, they are in a poor family right they she worked very hard for the children but yeah. children, children doesn't know uh, Emmy 
Yes. When yes. our let's say that when our parent is is poor, right? Do we expect her to buy things for us? No. No, because the more we ask, the more uh, we get, right? And the, the parent will as well. Uh, Emily. Yes, hey. <laughs> so when the when if uh, if our uh, parent is poor, right? And uh, should we ask for what? Uh, the, do you think whatever we ask, do you think they can be able to provide us? No. No, but what should we do instead of asking? We should enjoy the things uh, we already have. People. Even though we. Uh, People. Yeah. People. People. Okay, Catherine. Catherine. Hello, Gon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, when, um, so when we, uh, when our parents cannot buy things for us, they a reason, right? Is that true? Catherine? They are what? No, when our parents, if, let's say that you ask for the iPhone uh, 12, right? And the parents uh, cannot buy it. Do you think that they always a reason? You know, do, do, do you think they have a good reason not to buy? Yes, if it's if they can get something cheaper or they don't have enough money. Yeah, they, they, they don't have money to do that. Jennifer? Jennifer? Yeah? When our parent, when you want the iPhone uh, 11, if your parent cannot buy you one, is that, is that, is that a good thing or bad thing? Uh, bad thing? Why bad thing? Um, because... Um, okay, who, who, will, who will pay the money? Your parents. Yeah. Your parents. The parent doesn't have that money to pay for that, right? It doesn't, not me. We should not add those things, right? We make... Yeah. We make them suffer because they have to work harder, right? We don't want yeah. to. Yeah, to tie, um, the breakout rooms are done. Okay, okay, go ahead, Ka. Thank you.